hi guys welcome back to my channel of course it's your girl shiro and guys i've missed you guys so much i know i've been a bad girl eh? i've not been consistent i've not posted for four good months i'm so so gross i'm so sorry guys actually this i went for a long break which was much needed because of lots of things and uh it's sad to tell you guys that i'm not permanently back on youtube but at least i decided since i have this chance and opportunity to do a video for you guys i took this chance and today i'm going to do a very interesting video for you guys and before i tell you what you're doing guys please please subscribe if you haven't like this video comment and share this video widely so that we can grow we are at 400 and something subscribers road to 500 subscribers and i'm sure we're gonna get it so guys please hmm? do what you're supposed to do thank you so much if you're returning subscribers okay so before i tell you what you're doing huh? subscribe let's see you there yes so welcome back again guys and today's video is going to be very interesting because i'm going to, uh, it's going to give you a short story about my life and um my diabetic journey for those who do, don't know i'm diabetic i'm diabetic and uh, for those who know if you know you know it's so okay and as we do that i'm going to do just a simple makeup and unfortunately i'm not going to do my eyebrows because <laughs> i have bougie eyebrows and it's so difficult for me to do my eyebrows especially now that i don't have a mirror i moved out i live alone and i keep forgetting to buy a mirror my bad and it's almost a month in this house guys I need prayers for that so i just do simple makeup if you know you know without eyebrows <laughs> i don't know how this is going to turn out guys but you know what let's try it's either try or not try <laughs> so i'm going to start by moisturizing my face i'm using this <laughs> yeah i wash my face guys so don't mind that i'm doing makeup just ruining my face i ran out of wet wipes so so i just i just washed my face and i'm going to moisturize because <laughs> okay i'm just i'm just looking into things in my makeup box because i ran short of them and at the same time i forgot some somewhere which i'll go pick i don't have i don't even have a primer so after the moisturizer i'm going to start by doing the foundation and i rub it by the way i use maybelline foundation but for now i don't have my color because it got finished i get clients who are medium <laughs> so it gets finished and also we're going to use what we have and yes let's do this video as we do this simple makeup and uh, i love applying my foundation using this brush here yeah I have brushes for powder and for foundation and uh, you know what let's do this guys so it was 2020 hmm? 2020 our year if you know you know <laughs> 2020 must be nice so guys 2020 around november it's when my diabetic journey started and uh, before november guys I started experiencing some weird stuff in my body. My my body had some serious changes, and uh, which and the first change, which was most weird, it's me losing weight. I lost a lot of weight, and people would notice, and that's when it hit me that something was wrong with myself because people would tell me like, "What's up? We're losing a." Uh, a lot of weight at first i was okay i was like it's just normal losing weight but now it got to a point that uh almost all my clothes couldn't fit me and that's when i knew something wasn't right i got needed to do something so guys a little i lost a lot of weight and at the same time i started eating too much hmm? can you imagine guys i would wake up at midday to look for food like it was that serious we would feel hungry every minute and i didn't know what was going on for me i felt like i'm having a lot of appetite or oh what's that happy who Hap appetite but at the same time 
I noticed that something was wrong. So there's this one time I have I had some few friends who used to live at the hostels and one of our friend uh requested we take her to the marketplace to go buy some foodstuffs. Yeah. And we went together. Um how do I say this? Um you know I got to a point where uh, let's say for instance, um, I feel like going for a short call. I couldn't control it. So if I want to go for a short call, <laughs> I'll just do it where I was, even on my clothes, guys. It was that serious. So that day we went to the marketplace and the weird thing started. I felt like going for a short call in the middle of the market and there's a certain, like, let's say rentals there. And I went into those rentals. Unfortunately, those people on the toilets inside their houses and... Uh, no, I did what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to be done. I, I did it on myself, which wasn't intentional, just because I couldn't control it. And that's when my friend, who was my best friend at that time, told me, this is serious and we need to go to the hospital. At some point, we thought that maybe I, I had a loose bladder. Because that was so weird. Come on, guys. I'm a big girl. How am I doing it on myself? I don't know. This foundation is not... Uh, not... What you say? Anyway, you use what you have. If you know, you know. So, that day, after we went back to the hostel, she told me, you know what, tomorrow we're going to the hospital and don't have a choice so because for me guys i was assuming things i was like ah i'll be okay it's just a matter of time and i went the next day went to the hospital and i remember that day before we had gone to the hospital in the morning and uh, we found uh we found a big kid decided to go back home and we took some lunch and i took tea with a lot of sugar of course i drank a lot of tea that day little did i know when I go to the hospital, I'm going to get a very shocking news. And I explained to the doctor how I was feeling, blah, blah, blah. And the doctor looked at me and was like, okay. She sent me to the laboratory and I went to the laboratory to get the whatever test she sent me. Guys, after going to the laboratory, uh, the, the madam or the doctor who was there called my name and she was like, come. And she took me directly to the doctor and I was like, wrong <laughs> at that point i was so tense and uh, i didn't know what to do but you know it's not that, that serious she took me directly to the, to the doctor who had sent me for the for the tests and uh, my friend was just sitting out there and she's like what is wrong and i was like i don't know we were both we were both uh, oh please excuse me we were both um and anxious to know what was happening. So, after going to the doctor, the doctor looked at the results and she was so shocked. And she looked at me and she was like, what's happening? <laughs> Guys, I started crying instantly. Yet, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was wrong, but I started crying. I cried my tears out. And the doctor told me go to the next room I went to the next room and I was told to sit on a certain bed that was there and I was there my friend was asking me what's wrong and I was like I don't even know blah 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 and I was there crying to myself asking God what could be wrong and then <laughs> there's this one doctor who came and she told me like uh, in Kiswahili she told me Kone mkofi ukula nini skari kujivo like uh what have you been eating since your sugar is too and i was like wait i'm not diabetic so that's what are you talking about she was like oh she was shocked she thought i knew so she went back to the doctors and the doctors came and started talking to me telling me it's okay you know it happens and you can live with it you just need to do this and that they're giving some advice and i told my friend what was happening she started crying <laughs> The same way I was crying and we were wondering now what next. I was shocked because my life, I never thought about anything like being 
diabetic and uh, I've been healthy. I'm that kind of person that I've never been admitted to the hospital or I've never gone to the hospital because of a certain permanent condition or anything. But now I'm here. This is a new chapter of my life. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I tried the whole day. Not the whole time and it was around it was around five and the doctor started saying that you know you need to fix your sugars because they are too high. So uh, I was supposed they started putting what do you call it? They brought some treats. They had to add to add water in my body so that the sugar can be controlled. Hey. My goodness, guys. It was a bad day for me. They started putting drips on my body. Okay, like, uh, two drips. And uh, after that, my friend went home and called uh, called the person who was in charge, someone who was supposed to like take care of me and know that I'm diabetic and blah blah blah, all those stuff. So after after I'd finished the treats, they were like, now the sugar is at least balanced, but I have to go to the main hospital, the bigger hospital, yeah, to the medical. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to describe that, guys. But now, for the food that had gone, it's like a dispensary. So, I was taken to PGH if in Nakuru, you know, it's a big hospital in Nakuru Public Hospital called Medical, and I was taken there. And when I went there, the doctor, the doctor said, she has to be admitted because she's she has she's she has just been diagnosed not that she don't know how to do things to balance it blah 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 all that shit guys so i was admitted that night and one thing the doctor was telling me don't cry don't stress yourself because you know when you're diabetic you're not supposed to do that guys i was so shocked at some point i knew that this was the end of me i cried the whole time and myself i'm going to die <laughs> and at that time i was 20 years old i was like i'm only 20 where am i diabetic i called my aunt they were talking to me telling me it's okay and all those things like i promise you guys i cried the whole night so i stayed the whole night at the hospital um uh, being added water in my body and And uh, the next day, uh, uh, I was taken to a nutritionist who talked to me. Uh, he told me how I'm supposed to check my diet, do good shit. I was just being advised on how to control the sugars. I was given some medicine. And that's how my diabetic journey started. It wasn't a good one, guys. Can I promise you? It was not easy for me because I can't remember I was... <laughs> The first days I would go to the hospital almost every day because at some point you will get that my sugars are high. So you, uh, what have I done? My sugars. <sighs> I'll go get treats every day. Almost every day. It was so hard for me. I wasn't taking it easy and it was hard for me to accept this situation and it was getting really serious. That's how I started using medicine. But then after some time, uh, the doctors realized the medicines were not working for me. So I had to start doing, I had to, I had to start using uh, insulin uh, injection, which I'd be injecting myself. Which at some point, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for this new life. New me. And I remember when the doctor told me that I'm going to start using injection, I cried that day the whole night. When I went back home, I didn't tell anyone what was happening. I just cried by myself the whole night and I was asking God, like, why me? You know, I'm young for me to be diabetic. But <sighs> it really got me so bad, guys. I wasn't taking it so good. And the more I was being disturbed by these conditions, the more it's getting us because... First, I'm not supposed to stress myself, and a girl is here, stressed.
stressing herself out, not taking everything lightly, which is so bad. And uh, that's why I started using insulin, that with the injection, which I had to do it at least twice a day. And uh, I was going to, uh, and uh, the doctors were trying to tell me that their, their food you can't eat. If you're a rich old guy, I'm not supposed to take um, anything sugary and <laughs> kinds. What kind of life is this? Yani, you can't take sodas, you can't take juices, you can't. No, you're not supposed to eat white ugali, white bread. You know, you do brown, 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 brown things. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't ready for that. But guys, no, no, no. Things happen for a reason. I had to accept this situation. So, I feel like I had a choice, you know. But, I had to. It's something that you have to. I wasn't taking this any lighter and that's how I started using insulin. So after a while I started um, tracking to the condition, I got educated, I was told what to do, not to do, and try not to get hungry. But guys, you know, we are, we are humans and the time to go through things, you have to stress. Yeah, I am, I'm told my condition doesn't want me to stress. My condition doesn't want me to um, get angry. I'm not supposed to stay hungry at the same time. I'm supposed to make sure I eat, eat the right food, and then, you know. <sighs> it just gives me a mini, mini fix. And I had spent 20 years of my life living a normal life like any other person out there. And, uh, this I'm being introduced to a new lifestyle. <laughs> a totally new lifestyle, guys. Total new lifestyle. Where you have conditions with your own life and you make the and you're the one to make the decision. Because you know, I'm an adult and I can choose to do it or not do it. But then it's not like I have a choice here. Because it's for my own good and uh, I wasn't taking it for good. It was so hard. It was so harsh and uh, I will cry every day. I really try my best to take it, but guys, I will pretend I'm okay. You know, I'm that kind of a person. Um, when I'm going through something, I'll just pretend I'm okay and cry myself out at night when I'm sleeping. And go through it alone. I'm that person that I don't talk about how I'm feeling, what I'm going through. I'm more of a die alone person, so I wouldn't talk to anyone. I would keep it to myself. I would pretend I'm, I would pretend that I'm okay. And hmm. if you know, you know. Yes, guys. I think I'll do this some um, mascaras. <laughs> I don't think I'll do some eyeshadows. I find eyeshadows weird without eyebrows, so just do this. I have more beautiful my lashes. to get you know guys i've been diabetic since 2020 and i'm 22 yeah i'm 2022 so that's one year and some months since i was diagnosed and what i can say guys it hasn't been easy at some point you know, just have to accept things the way you are and live with it that's what i've learned to do i just came to accept it and I can say I'm thankful to my friends, family, and everyone because everyone has been, have been so supportive. People took me the way I am, and they tried helping me to learn how to live with it. 
and that's why I overcame this monster. I don't know, there's a, there's, there's a time I go to the hospital to the clinic. Well, let's say for checkup. Then what days I'm having a cold that we can fill with that. And at times I go for my checkup and you know, go to that ward. Um, or they get to put and they still get to treat there. That really breaks my heart. But at the same time, it builds me. And I get to tell myself, this kid is too young to have it. She's diabetic. She has not even tested the other side of life like I have. So at least I've lived into life eating whatever I used to eat without the, those uh, injections, you know. Yeah. But for this kid, she's young. Maybe in four or five years, and she's going through this or he's going through this. So at least I'm thankful she didn't have it at a younger age. She get it. She get it, guys. And so far, guys, I'm, I'm my body is responding, you know. And I have everything. I have um. I have my medicine, I have, um, what do we call it? Glucometer, that's a machine that I used to, to monitor my sugars, just like I know when my sugars are high and know what to do. Right, guys? That's the good thing. You know, I won't lie that this <laughs> that you don't have challenges. I do have, even though I'm okay right now, I'm good. I'm actually very good. I'm okay. I'm used to it and uh, it's, 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 uh, what do I say? It doesn't affect me the way it used to do. Get on board. Right now, I'm so, I'm so used to it. I used to eat and I take it so lightly and uh, I do what I'm supposed to do and it's fine, it's okay. Uh, but you get at some point you meet people who judge you for it. I don't know what people did. <laughs> you know, someone is like, hey, I can't get this guy. She might die soon, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. And some people take it so weird. Some people take it like it's a very serious illness that maybe you can give it to them. <laughs> you know, I've been going through challenges in some of the athletic issue. Uh, which is okay since I don't hide it from anyone. I let people know my condition so that you can know how you relate with me. You can choose if you still want to be a friend or anything else without judging me and and the other the other challenge I'm going through right now I'm really adding weight oh my god guys <laughs> if you if you look at my pictures before and now you know, you know what I'm saying. When someone's diabetic, you get to, to add a lot of weight. So, it's advisable you do exercises and blah, 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 all those stuff. <laughs> and I'm this kind of person. I'm like, I'm going to chill. And I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't do the actions. It's just a... I'm doing this. I'm really taking it easy.
Mm. I'm having a lot of success, but today I have to work with that. I'm just using my concealer brush to do that. Two root of six, six or seven. <laughs> that root of my crease. Okay, so I'm really so disappointed in my eyebrows, guys. So I shall use this brush. I need to work on this. And what was I saying? Hey, guys. That's, I've been going through a lot of challenges because of my diabetic situation, but you know, we move on regardless, and uh, that's me, and uh, it has to move on, you know, and um, you have to accept life the way it is and accept yourself. This is called Kajal. I use this, I use it on my on my eyes. I find it so easy to use. <laughs> what do I do? I just work on that excess part of it. It might be it the round up here. Yes, and I'm good to go. Wow. I really love how my natural lashes look. You know? I feel like you know. Anyways, anyhow, guys, uh, I'll just give you a little advice. So, this advice, you know, for me, what has really kept me going is accepting who you are. I'm just going to set my makeup and... That's it, I have to do it for the spray to, um, to stick around. And as I was saying, you just need to accept yourself. And you just be you. Don't care about what people say. And being sick, it's not a crime. It's not your, um, it's not like you chose it. No one chooses to be sick. And maybe you, you have a certain uh, permanent condition, sickness, maybe not not a must with diabetes maybe anything else i don't know any permanent disease just know everything happens for a reason and you have a choice to accept you and uh, once you learn to accept yourself people will learn to accept you too because that's who you are and they learn to treat you they learn to be with you for you and if you're healthy you should just thank god Let's, let's just learn how to be thankful for our health. Like, you see, for me, I'm always thanking God for good health. Because I've just learned to take diabetic not that serious. I've learned to live like any other person, live a normal life. I'm just going to set my face with the problem that I used on my face. Let's go. Go in a little bit more of it. Don't forget, this is not a deep detailed makeup this is just i don't know what to call it a simple makeup <laughs> that has helped me to give you a story instead of just sitting there dormantly i decided to do something so far i think i've just done the foundation a lipstick and mascara and spray <laughs> nothing much to be precise yeah uh, once i come i think i said i'll try doing some uh, detailed perfect and good uh, makeup tutorial which i'll start for the eyebrows once i shape my eyebrows don't mind my hair is too bushy and uh, it's not like i have a choice <laughs> of course i do but i chose not to do to go shape my eyebrows which is very bad of me you know i look so bad i look so bad it is like my hair is so bad too so i'm having this head wrap Excuse me guys, I need to work on my hair, my nails, and my, what else, yes, yeah, so guys, um, as I was saying, just know how to accept yourself, no matter what, any condition you have, uh, anything you're going through, just learn how to accept yourself, because life, in life, we all have different challenges, it's not, not a must to be sick or something 
it's about how you take things and uh, that's how love you live and how your life will go you choose your happiness you choose your peace and uh, what else let me just do something then i can't end this video guys okay and voila <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't know why I'm laughing. But guys, I have this wig. I'm not a wig person. This is actually my friend's wig. And I decided to put it on to compliment this beautiful makeup of mine. I don't know. How do I look? You guys, you know, advise me to start doing wigs because I'm more of a gel person. I love putting gel on my hair and extensions, but not wigs if you can advise me if you think i look good on wigs then you can tell me voila mm. look at that pretty baby <laughs> i joke so much anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. <laughs> guys thank you so much for tuning in on my youtube channel uh i was your girl shiro of course from nakuru a kenyan youtuber and i must say I'm so in love with you guys. Thank you for being uh, keep it real she rose family. If you're new to this family, just welcome. Welcome boo. Thank you for joining this channel. This is the best place to be. And you know what guys? More content coming your way. Huh? Uh, I just want to get a good phone that I'll be vlogging with. I already have a ring light. That's what I'm using. Get some microphones. I just need some good gadgets for vlogging. That's why I'm taking my time because when I get back to YouTube, I'll be back fully. Thank you so much, guys. That has been my journey. And comment down on the comment section which part of makeup do you want me to start with. Just a disclaimer this wasn't a serious makeup, this was just a baby wig. And when I come back to do makeup tutorials, I'll be giving you the best products to use. And what to do, the do's and the don'ts, and just give you a detailed makeup tutorial, which I think it's best if I start with the eyebrows. So, guys, please, let's get to 500 subscribers. I love you guys so much. Uh, I don't want to leave you guys, uh, but I have to go. Get you guys more content and more content. Uh, actually, I don't know what to do next. I'm idling today. Uh, I don't have a purpose, so I'm just indoors, home alone. And I live alone, yes. Let's see you mind. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I moved out and this is my wall. This is just a wallpaper. I'll show you guys my house there soon. I just have to fix a few things and voila. Give you a house tour. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for tuning. And always remember, be yourself. Be you. Acceptance is the road and the way to living good life. And to having more peace. Cheers. Till next time. Bye.